A little girl of just 11 years old is about to marry an old man, but when they discover the real reason for the wedding, everyone is shocked. It was a gloomy morning, with the sky covered in thick gray clouds that promised rain at any moment. Despite the bad weather, the day would be marked by an event that would brighten up the damp mood. Inside a decorated lounge, Haley was being prepared for the most important event of the year. Tears rolled down her childish face as she saw herself in the mirror, dressed as a bride, getting ready for her wedding. Every detail was meticulously planned to resemble a fairy tale. Calm down, darling, said her mother, Lily, trying to calm both her daughter's nerves and her own. She couldn't hold back her tears either, knowing the weight and uniqueness of that day. Today is going to be very special. Her voice trembled with the emotion of the moment. Around Haley, two other women were carefully working on her hair and makeup. They combed her blonde hair into beautiful curls and applied soft makeup, highlighting the innocence of her young face. You have to stop crying, dear, or else you'll ruin your makeup, one of the women warned gently, offering an encouraging smile. Haley tried to control her tears, but tension and sadness fought against her joy at the sight of her beautiful white dress. The dress, with its delicate flower details and light fabric, seemed to float around her figure, transforming her into a real fairy tale princess. The lounge was exactly as she had imagined it beautifully adorned with pure white flowers and twinkling lights that came down from the ceiling, creating a welcoming atmosphere. Every corner glowed with the promise of a memorable day, despite the gray weather outside. Haley had always shared her dream of her wedding with her mother, and despite the unusual situation, Lily made a point of meeting all her daughter's demands for the day. Everything was perfect, every detail was a response to the girl's wishes fulfilled with the love and care of a mother who only wanted her daughter to be happy. As the minutes passed, the anxiety in the air mixed with a sense of celebration. Then, one of the relatives entered the room, breaking the brief silence with a kind voice. We're ready. The beautiful bride can come in ten minutes. Haley looked at her mother, her eyes still moist but shining with a complex emotion. A shy, genuinely happy smile formed on her lips as she watched the light rain that was beginning to fall outside. She then took a deep breath, capturing the essence of a moment that she knew would be unique in her life, and said in a firm, hopeful voice, I'm ready. For many girls, their wedding day is envisioned as the most magical and special event of their lives, a dream cultivated since childhood. They imagine a grand hall adorned with fragrant flowers and filled with bright lights, where, in a dazzling white dress, they will walk to meet the man who promises to love them forever. For Haley, this day had come early, as she was only 11 years old, but the circumstances were different, things that few could have imagined or expected, especially as she was still a child. The reason why the little girl was dressed as a bride, and above all, who was the partner she was going to marry, were part of a story that was sure to surprise everyone present at the event. To truly understand the situation, we need to go back in time to the events that triggered this atypical celebration. Eleven years earlier, Lily's life, the little girl's mother, took an unexpected turn. Young and full of hope, she was about to get married when the man she loved, Haley's father, was abruptly confronted with the news of her pregnancy, which she had also just discovered. Unable to cope with the responsibility, he chose to abandon her and never returned, leaving her pregnant and alone with an uncertain future ahead of her. At the time, Lily was only 24 and still a student. Her life seemed to be falling apart. The prospects of getting married and building a family, which were supposed to be her support, suddenly disappeared. With no other options available, she did what she had never wanted to do. She went back to her father's house. The man, who had always been extremely strict with her, demanded that his daughter dedicate herself to her studies and achieve academic and professional success, with no room for failure or deviation from the path he had planned. So, the poor girl's despair was tangible when she approached her father's house, holding her newborn baby and with the weight of uncertainty and fear about how her father would react. How would her father take her back, unmarried and a new mother, and without having achieved the academic success he had always planned for her? 
However, when she arrived and told her father Sam about her situation, something unexpected happened. Instead of being angry, the man surprised Lily with a reaction she could never have predicted. He looked at his little granddaughter and, with tears in his eyes, expressed a sincere gratitude that the young woman had never seen before. Oh dear, thank you, he said in a soft voice. Thank you for coming back and bringing your precious daughter with you. You both are welcomed here. At that moment, Lily was stunned. It crossed her mind that perhaps there was hope for her and her daughter, like a new chance to rebuild her life and raise her little baby with her father's support. But she still had doubts. Sam really surprised her with his unexpected welcome and love, and Lily was facing a storm of emotions. With her little girl in her arms and an uncertain future, she stared at her father, her eyes shining with that feeling of unexpected support. Still fearful, she asked him in a trembling voice, Aren't you angry, Dad? The sincerity and fear in her voice echoed through the silence of the room. Sam deeply felt the years of regret hitting him. In his daughter's eyes was written all the lack of trust she had, realizing how strict he had been throughout her life. In a soft and very regretful voice, he confessed, I know that I never made things easy for you, and that this may have damaged our relationship. I just wanted you to have a bright future. Now, I realize that I may have been too hard on you, but I want you to know that you can always come home when you need to. I'm your father, and I'll always be here for you. His apology was that of someone who recognized his mistakes and sought redemption. He continued, his voice firm but charged with emotion. I will treat your daughter as I should have treated you, dear. These words not only eased the girl's heart, but also sealed a new beginning for both of them. It was a promise from a grandfather to his granddaughter, and from a father to his daughter. Over time, the relationship between Lily and Sam healed and grew stronger. The man proved to be a devoted grandfather and a renewed father. He helped raise Haley, providing her with love and security, which allowed Lily to complete her studies. Sam's constant presence and support were fundamental so that Lily could face the challenges of being a new single mother while finishing her education in engineering. The little girl grew up admiring her grandfather, who became her hero and role model. Although he was an absent father during Lily's early years, he proved to be a loving and attentive grandfather. But Sam had been an older father, having had Lily at the age of 45 and raised her alone when his wife died. This meant that he was also an even older grandfather, which brought with it the challenges of old age. Over the years, the difficulties of being an old man began to affect Sam. He faced frequent health problems that led to long periods of hospitalization. However, despite the financial and emotional difficulties, with Lily being the only one working, he made an effort to be present in Haley's life. He always told her stories, shared life lessons, and gave her all the love he could trying to make up for past mistakes and build precious memories with his granddaughter. Unfortunately, life sometimes holds painful moments. When Sam was already 80 years old, terrible news struck the family, marking another challenging chapter in their lives. In the doctor's office, the air was heavy with the news that no one wants to hear. I'm so sorry, sir, but you have a brain tumor and it's terminal, the doctor announced in a compassionate voice. The old man, sitting in his wheelchair, absorbed the words with a heavy silence. His eyes, normally full of vivacity despite his old age, now reflected a deep sadness. Fear enveloped him like a dense fog, obscuring what little hope he might have had left. The worst part for Sam was not his own imminent death, but how he would share the news with Haley, his beloved granddaughter, that he would no longer be present in her life. That evening, at home, he and Lily, with heavy hearts, sat down with the little girl to tell her everything. The family had always shared the truth, no matter how painful. Haley heard the news, and immediately tears began to flow freely down her young, innocent face. She threw herself into her grandfather's arms, crying desperately. I don't want to lose you, Grandpa, she sobbed, each word filled with palpable despair. I don't want it either, dear, he said holding on to his strength, even though he was overwhelmed by the fear of the unknown. Sam, his eyes full of tears, stroked Haley's hair and, with a voice broken by crying, continued, 
Forgive me for not being able to walk you down the aisle as I promised, my little flower. The sadness in his words was as deep as the illness that was stealing his time. It was then that the little girl, in a moment of pure emotion and desire to keep her grandfather close in some way, had an idea. Grandpa, what if we got married, then you'd be with me at my wedding. The suggestion, innocent and touching, brought a new wave of tears and also a sense of purpose. Her mother, although moved by the situation, welcomed the idea with love and told her that she would begin preparations to make this last wish come true. They planned everything exactly as Haley had always dreamed. White flowers decorating the hall, twinkling lights hanging everywhere, creating a fairy tale atmosphere. Together, they went to choose a wedding dress, and every detail was carefully selected to make the day unforgettable. Relatives were invited to the big celebration, and everyone understood the importance of this symbolic act. On the day of the wedding, the sky was gloomy, as if even nature was sad about the situation, but at the same time shared the need to celebrate every remaining minute. When the time came, Haley walked down the aisle in the grand lounge, adorned with delicacy and elegance. The little girl, just 11 years old, entered the red carpet, holding a small bouquet of white flowers in one hand and, in the other, the weak and wrinkled hand of her grandfather, Sam, who was impeccably dressed in a dark suit, sitting in his wheelchair. The atmosphere was full of emotion, as everyone present watched with tears in their eyes at this very special and unusual symbolic wedding. Oh, she's beautiful, they commented, as they slowly walked down the aisle with that emotional music playing in the background. The guests couldn't hold back their tears, moved by the strength and beauty of the unconditional love between a granddaughter and her grandfather. When they reached the altar, Haley and Sam turned to each other to exchange vows, which, despite not being legal, were deeply meaningful to both of them. The little girl, her voice shaking with emotion, began to speak, looking into the eyes of the man who had always been her greatest source of love and security. Grandpa, I never needed a father because I have you. I was never scared at night when I had nightmares because I have you. I've never felt unprotected because I have you. I'm happy because I have you. She stopped and put her hand to her face, crying. I don't want to lose you, Grandpa. The girl's words resounded through the hall, causing many of those present to a sob openly. Sam, his eyes shining with tears, held his granddaughter's hands with all the affection in the world. You were one of the best things that ever happened in my life, my princess. I'll always be with you wherever you go, no matter how many years pass. I love you forever. His voice was firm and full of emotion. The hug that followed was long and full of love. Haley cried silently as she snuggled up to her hero, and everyone in the hall applauded recognizing the depth and sincerity of their shared feelings. After the solemn moment, Lily made sure that the rest of the event was unforgettable. The party was great, with everyone laughing and having fun, trying to enjoy every second with Sam. Soft music played in the background as laughter and conversation filled the air. The old man, despite the terrible circumstances that had befallen him, which he couldn't escape even if he wanted to, was visibly happy enjoying his last days surrounded by his family, his daughter, his friends, and especially his granddaughter. It was clear that he was soaking up every moment, remembering the happy faces of everyone he loved. Everyone who took part in this indescribable day knew that they would never forget it, especially Haley, who would treasure this memory for the rest of her life. Less than a week after the symbolic wedding, surrounded by the love of his family, Sam passed away leaving a legacy of unconditional love and life lessons that would continue to echo in the lives of everyone he touched. The loss of Sam was a devastating blow for the girl and her mother. The pain was immeasurable. They were completely devastated, trying to understand how they would move on without the pillar that had sustained their lives. The house, once full of laughter and stories, now echoed with a bleak silence interrupted only by the sobs that occasionally cut through the air. It was extremely difficult to lose Sam, the man who had been more than a grandfather to Haley, and more than a father to Lily. However, they both knew that Sam had done everything he could. He would always be his granddaughter's hero, 
the man who made the girl's dream of being walked down the aisle come true. That symbolic wedding video, full of heartfelt vows and sincere tears, became a treasure for Haley, something she could hold on to forever. It not only captured Sam's love and dedication, but also served as a permanent reminder of the unbreakable bond they shared. The years passed, and life, with its incessant tides, took Haley on new journeys. She grew up under the shadow of her grandfather's legacy of love and sacrifice, becoming a strong and compassionate woman. When her real wedding day finally arrived, with beautiful white flowers and flashing lights, at the age of 28, she felt a mixture of joy and melancholy. The young woman, dressed as a bride again, this time to walk down the aisle beside her beloved, held Sam's space sacred in her heart. During the ceremony, a special moment was in store, a secret that her mother had kept all these years. After the exchange of vows, Lily addressed the guests, asking for a moment's attention, before starting the reception. She then revealed a surprise that she had kept secret, a video that Sam had recorded shortly before his passing. The lights went out, and the screen lit up with the video of the old man, dressed in the same suit he wore at the symbolic wedding. His voice filled the room with warmth and presence. Did you think I wouldn't be here, princess? Of course, I wouldn't miss your wedding. May you be very happy, and may your family be blessed. I love you. I always will, he said, his smile as genuine and comforting as ever. The bride's reaction was immediate. Tears of surprise and happiness streamed down her face as she listened to Sam's words of love and encouragement. Emotion filled the room, with many guests also letting their tears flow freely. The moment was not only a reminder of the loss, but a celebration of the eternal love that her grandfather continued to offer, even though he was not physically present. The video was the highlight of the wedding, transforming what could have been just another beautiful day into something deeply meaningful and touching. For Haley, it was proof that although Sam had left, his love and blessings remained with her. One fact that no distance or time could change was that the old man had always been, and would always be, her first and greatest love. And if you like this story, I'm sure the next video that pops up on your screen will move you too.